I don't want to assume. Are you strictly into guys? Yes. Do you get hit on by women? Y yes. <laughs> What's the percentage there? What's the ratio? Um, guys versus girls hitting on you at this point. I give it a good 80% guys and 20% girls. When it comes to guys, what do you look for? What are some characteristics? Um, well, I obviously want somebody who is worried about their future. Somebody who has the same traits as me. I'm in college. Of course, I would want you in college too, or at least working towards something as to that. Um, somebody who has a plan, not necessarily like as far as the materialistic, because people be like, oh, I want him to be tall or I want him to be this. Of course I want him tall. I want him tall because I'm, I'm tall my damn self. So I don't, you mean I want to balance out. So, I mean, just somebody who, like, are you talking as far as like looks or? Either or here. It could oh, okay. be just general characteristics. I mean, what somebody, you, yeah. somebody who can communicate. Um, someone who actually listens to what I have to say. Um, take consideration for my feelings. And not hear what I've been through and then pretty much do the same shit that I went through and just blatantly disrespect me for the second, third time. Physical characteristics, though, you did mention height. How tall are you, by the way? I'm 5'7", so I'm pretty tall. You ever wear heels? Yes, because I model, too, do runway and stuff. With and heels, how tall are you? Like, I would say 5'1", five, 5'2". Five, no, I said 5'1", 6'1", 6'2". Like, I'm pretty tall with heels on. So when you say you want a tall guy, you want a guy that can match you when you're in heels? Mm-hmm. Okay. What about looks-wise, build-wise? Uh, the skinny guy, the average guy, the athletic guy, the athletic, teddy bear? Athletic. My major is sports management. I want to be a basketball agent. I want to manage or be a part of my basketball boyfriend's life. That is my plan. I want to be on Basketball Wives. I want to be the star. I don't have to be the star or I don't have to do all that. If I end up finding somebody that's not in that criteria or whatever, but hey, that's all I thought about is being a basketball wife. Not even on no like groupie type shit, but like it'd be nice to be able to be front row, front row at the games, number one fan, you know. I guess, but maybe that's my problem. I go for the athletic ones or something. I don't know. Who knows? What about the ugly guy? Has he slipped in there or no? Oh, he has an ugly basketball player. But you know, give people a chance and they just, you know, try to make it seem like they're different and they basically the same, so. Was he ugly to you or just ugly to others? He was ugly to others, but I thought he was like the best looking creature in the world to <laughs> me. Like, I don't care. Like, how I see it, if you calling him ugly, you just one less girl that I got to worry about. But at the same time, it'd be the girls that be calling your man ugly that be in your man's DMs trying to text him and all that shit. So I don't even want to hear, oh, he ugly and oh, this and that, but you still in his DMs. So. Like, just know, if I see you in them DMs, I'm going to whoop your ass. Like, you just called him ugly, so stay the fuck away from him. Period. Is age important? Um, well, of course, I don't want somebody who's 30, you know. I want somebody in my range so we have the same goals, same aspirations, same, you know. I don't want to be in the stage, like, I'm 19, so... I don't want to be 19 dating somebody who's like close to being in their 30s, like 25 and up. Because then you already in the mindset, oh, I want to get married and all that stuff. Yeah, I want to get married, but at the same time, I want to be able to travel. I want to be able to do stuff. Yeah, I could be your girlfriend, but 
let's stick to that first, not just jump. I feel like with the age gap, it's like a rush. And I don't want it to be a rush. I want it to just go as it should be. What's the oldest person you've been with as far as age difference? Um, Two, three years? Five years? Mm -hmm. Ten years? I think. Five years, yeah. Five. Five year difference? Yes. Now, um, is religion important? Um, not necessarily because, you know, we only live in the now and I feel like if you believe in Christianity, which I do, like, you don't know whether this is going to be the person that you spend the rest of your life with or it, it's just a temporary thing. You just take that chance with it. But if it gets to that point, then like of marriage and like I've dealt with somebody who's Muslim. So we had different beliefs, but he wanted me to fast and do that stuff with him. But I still believed in God and everything. It was just. You know, I could still support your religion as long as you support mine and don't disrespect it. I won't disrespect yours, you know. So I don't think religion matters for me. Do you intimidate guys? Um, I don't think so. I think what it is is I'm so set on what I want for myself. I want to be able to have a successful life, I want to have a boyfriend. Well, not necessarily want or it's a need type thing, but it'd be nice to have one, somebody that be in your corner, especially with the stuff that I'm going through. I'm doing this by myself. So it's like, it'd be nice to have somebody be able to support you and just be there for you when you need it. It's the same for, you know, as I would say, basketball player. I'll be at your games, every single games, front row, having your number, all of that, you know? People You're ready me. for that. I really, I <laughs> really am. I've been ready for it since I was little. Well, not even little necessarily, like around high school, middle of high school. Because I cheerlead it, too, for basketball and stuff, so. That could be a reality show, right? Trying to find you a basketball player. Yeah. Hopefully one that's not a whore or somebody that doesn't want what I want right now, you know.